Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Tom. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to get you started with Python. So Python is a programming language and it's also a program you have to download in order to be able to run code that you wrote in that programming language. So if you go out to python.org and go to the download section, you should see a page that looks like this. You're going to see Python 3 and Python 2. Okay, so you're going to want the latest version, not the latest version of Python, but you're going to want the Python 3 as opposed to Python 2. Now, I'm not going to have you download the very latest version, but we're going to download a version that was released in 2015. Now, there's a reason for that. And the reason is, is because later on when you want to add some stuff in, and by add stuff in, I mean use modules or libraries that are written by other people, you want a version of Python that's been around for a little while, which means it's been around long enough so that if there's been a problem trying to use another library or use some tools that other people wrote to add on to your version of Python, they've probably been fixed by now. So if you're, if you're working with last year's version of Python, any problems with things uh, that, that people might have, like the add-ons in the libraries, any problems people might have had, have probably been fixed. So instead of using Python 3.5.2, we're going to use Python 3. Point, where is it here? 3.4.3. And that is right here, released 2015 in February. And you might be looking at all these numbers and kind of wondering uh, why these numbers are this way. Why is it 3.5.0 or 2.7.10? Well, the first number is a major change. And by major change, it means there was a programming language, Python 2. And Python 2 is, is older than Python 3. And it uses different some different words and some different styles of coding in order to get the, uh, in order to create the program. And if, you, if you're writing a program in Python 2, and you take that program and try to run it in Python 3, you might have some errors. And same thing if you try to go backwards from Python 3 to Python 2. You're going to have some problems and the programs won't quite work well. Uh, it might not run at all. So it's kind of like uh, Python 2, you can think about it as somebody speaking in, I don't know, like old English or English from 100 years ago, and now uh, they've upgraded the language uh, to Python 3, and then it's, it's modern day English. Uh, these other changes here, like uh, this 5, this 7, uh, these are big changes, but not as big as going from 2 to 3. So it's kind of a major update, uh, while the last number is a minor update, usually fixing small bugs, uh, and they release a new version every month or a couple months. So very soon, uh, this is Python 3.5.2, very soon you'll see Python 3.5.3, or maybe 3.6. By the time that you actually get to this page and watch this video, these num this number here at least will be different. Okay. So uh, we're going to go ahead and download Python 3.4.3. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so on here, uh, you're going to see some features. And this is the things that were updated uh, from 3.4 to 3.3. These are the major new changes. And then there's some minor changes. Uh, you can look around for those if you want. It's not really all that important for you, though. Okay, so if you want to come down to the file section and you want to get a version of uh, Python that works for you on your computer. So if you're using a Mac, get the version for the Mac. If you're a Windows user, grab the Windows version. So honestly, if you're not really sure what your processor is, you're not really sure uh, exactly uh, what you want, just get this version here. This is the 32-bit version, but it runs on everything. So this is the version you could get, you can also get this one and test it out. If it doesn't work, then come back and get this one. All right, so once you've downloaded this and you're running it, on a Windows machine at least, you're gonna see this. And I have the 64-bit, which means I downloaded this one here. And that's all right, so I'm gonna click Install for All Users. And 
and you want it saved usually on your C drive. Uh, a lot of times other programs will look for Python to be here. So just go ahead and leave this as the default and go to the next. And you're gonna see all of these options here. So all of these options should be turned on. And if it's not turned on, just click and click this one to be installed. Sometimes this add python.exe is not turned on. If you've already installed Python on your computer a long time ago, you might, you're gonna want to uh, either uninstall it and reinstall this version, or if you understand how a path works, this path here, you can add it to the path and remove the old one from the path. I won't show you how to do that in this lesson, so if you're struggling with that, if you can't get Python 3.43 to work, then that's probably the issue is it's not going into the path. So install the feature and click next. And since I already have it installed, I'm not gonna click next. I'm just gonna leave it like that and close the window, okay? All right, so uh, given that, what, if everything goes correctly, if you download it and install it, you should be able to go to your command prompt. And if you've never seen this window on Windows. Uh, it's in every version, Windows 7, 8, uh, 10, whatever version you're running. And you just need to go to the Start menu, and in the on the Run part of the Start menu, you can type CMD and hit Enter, or you can search around uh, in your uh, Start menu until you find the command prompt. It should be under Accessories or, or something like that. Okay, so once you get here, the most important thing is that you can run Python. So if you're on a Mac, you're gonna type the same thing, but you're gonna type it from a different console window. So just, I think it's called terminal. So go to the terminal window, open it up, and everybody type Python. So when you type Python, it should say Python 3.43. If it says a different version of Python, that means that you have an old version of Python installed, and you're gonna to need to fix your path like I mentioned earlier. So here, uh, this is the Python, uh, kind of the command line of the Python. It's also called uh, a REPL, R-E-P-L. And a bunch of languages have this. It's kind of a, a nice way where you can, uh, you can test your code a whole bunch uh, before you do anything. Just little small like bits of code. So for example, if I want to print uh, hello world like we've been doing and all the things, I can do it and it will print hello world out here. Uh, if I want to do some math, I can say, well, let's use x, since this is very common in math. So I say x is equal to 5, and then I say 5 times x is 25. Or I say x times x times, I don't know, 10, 250. Or x, so that's going to be x to the power of 3. And we're going to talk about this stuff here uh, in a, the next set of tutorials, but you just need to know that this is the command prompt and you type Python and it gives you this little three greater than signs here and this is what you use. And when you wanna get out of it, you type exit like that and get out of it, okay? Now, I'm gonna put another tutorial up kind of talking about the command prompt. So I'll give you uh, some ideas on all the different things you can do in the command prompt and how that works with Python and kind of just stuff like, if you wanna clear the screen, you type CLS or if you wanna look at the, f the files in the current directory, you can type dir. Okay, so those type of things, very, very handy. All right, so in the next tutorial, uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to set up Sublime so that you can use Sublime text with Python. Okay, all right, so I will see you in the next video. If you have any questions, just put them in the YouTube comments or on the website. All right, thanks.